The built-in functions like map and filter allow us to write simpler, shorter and more Pythonic code in place of using loops and branching. In this video, we will learn to use map and filter in Python with the help of examples. So let's get started. Before we learn about map and filter functions, let's brush up on lambda functions which we discussed in the last video as these functions make extensive use of lambda. Lambda functions are single line functions defined without a name. Let's make a simple normal function that takes two arguments and returns their sum. So here I'll say def add n1 and n2 as arguments and it returns the sum of n1 and n2. I can say print add 10 and 20 to test this out. When I press run, you can see that it successfully returns 30 which is the sum of 10 and 20. Now let's achieve the same result using a lambda function. Let me comment out this code first and then I'll say add equals lambda n1 comma n2 colon and the return value is n1 plus n2. Remember I can put spaces before and after the colon and it won't affect the working of the program. When I press run then I get 30 as expected. Now we are finally ready to get started with map. Before we learn about the map function, let me first show you why it might be useful. Suppose we have a list like this. So I'll remove this old code and say numbers equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have to create a new list with all the squares of the numbers from this list. For this, we would normally use a for loop and apply the square to each item. Let me show you what I mean. I'll first create an empty list called squared underscore nums. So squared underscore nums is an empty list. Then I'll create a lambda function and assign it to a variable. So here I'll say square equals lambda n that returns n to the power of 2. And now finally I'll loop through the items of the list and append the squares to this new list. So here I'll say for n in numbers then I can say squared underscore nums dot append square of n. Let me print the squared underscore nums list and run this code. So here I'll say print squared underscore nums and press run. And you can see that squared underscore nums contains the square of the five numbers. Let me show you how we can achieve this same task in a more elegant way using map. First, let me remove this code. Now I'll use the map function to square each item of the list. The map function applies a given function to each item of an iterable. So I can say squared underscore nums equals map. The map function takes two arguments, a function and an iterable. So the function is the lambda function that returns n to the power of two or n squared. And the second will be the list itself which is an iterable of course. Here the lambda function takes an argument and returns the square of that argument or that number. Similarly, we are applying this function to each element of the numbers list which is the iterable or the second parameter. Now let's print this squared underscore nums variable to see what we get. So let me say print squared underscore nums and when I press run, it says map object and there's a random sequence of letters here. The map function returns an iterator object. Let's use the list function to convert this iterator back to a list. So here, let me wrap this function with a list function. And now when I press run, and I get the same output as before, the squares of each element are added to this new list. These two codes that you see on your screen perform the same exact task but using map and lambda makes our code look much cleaner and concise. We can also pass multiple iterable arguments to map. Let me show you with an example. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say num1 equals 4 comma 5 comma 6. Similarly, num2 is 5 comma 6 comma 7. I will use the map function to create a new list with the sum of corresponding elements from these two lists. So here I can say result equals map the lambda function takes two arguments n1 and n2 and returns n1 plus n2. Similarly, the two other arguments or the iterables on which this lambda function will operate 
are num1 and num2. Now let me print, first let me convert this to a list and print list of result. Here n1 will take items from the num1 list, n2 will take items from the num2 list and the lambda function will return for each element the sum of n1 and n2 and this will be saved in the result iterable which we convert to a list before printing. Now when I press run, you can see that 4 plus 5 is 9, 5 plus 6 is 11 and 6 plus 7 13. This new list contains exactly the sum of each element. By the way, if you are finding this video useful, a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. Before moving to the next section of the video, the programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit size lessons that are easier to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android, the links are in the video description. The syntax of the filter function is quite similar to that of the map function. However, instead of creating a new iterator by applying the given function, filter filters out only the elements for which the function returns true. Let me show you what I mean with an example. Suppose we have a list of numbers like this and I want to filter out only the even numbers. For this, I would normally use the for loop and check if every item is even or not. Using the filter function, however, I can perform this task in a single expression. Let me define even underscore numbers. It will take two arguments. First, let me put the filter function. So filter, the filter function will take two arguments. The first one will be the lambda. So I'll say lambda, it will take n and then it will return n percentage or modulus 2 equals equals 0. Similarly, the second argument will be the numbers list itself. This lambda function will take values from the numbers list one by one. If the number is odd, the lambda function returns false and then the filter function will remove those values from the list or not keep those values in the final iterable. However, if the number is even, the lambda function returns true and those values are not filtered out. Since filter also returns an iterator, I'll first need to convert it to a list before printing it. So here I'll say list. And now let me print even underscore numbers. And now when I press run, then you can see that even underscore numbers only contains the even numbers from the numbers list. Use map to apply a function to each element of an iterable. For example, if you have a list containing radius of dozens of circles and we need to find the corresponding areas, we can achieve this by using the map function. Use filter to filter out values of an iterable if they don't match the specified condition. For example, we can use filter to remove negative numbers from a list of numbers. That's it for this video. If you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. I'll also put this link in the video description. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.